welcome one, welcome all to House of Games. I'm Richard Osmond, it is Tuesday. What a great day we had yesterday, some fantastic quizzing. Someone at the end of the week is winning the trophy. It's going to be one of these four. Ori Styler, Jenny Bond, James Bai, and Kadena Cox. Hello, everybody. Kadena, I'm going to start with you. Now, listen, you have won everything that's possible to win. You've got gold medals, you've got trophies. You've even won Celebrity MasterChef, for goodness sake. You can do everything. Yesterday was a quiet start, though, wasn't it? I just like to, like, you know, you know when you just like to pace yourself? Yes. Like, I'm giving these guys a chance. That's what it is. Oh, oh, <laughs> you, you, you gave them a big chance. You gave them a big I'm, chance. I'm back in the game today, though. Like, my head is in the game. Like, I'm ready. Like, Excellent. And you said beforehand, more sports questions is what you're asking for. As always, I don't know when, what any of the questions are, but we shall see. James, James, very different for you, though. A victory on Monday. Yeah. That must feel nice. Yeah, it does. I, I have to put it down to more luck than judgment, to be honest with you. There's a couple of questions... I think it was actors' names and things like that that I just sort of I knew, but yeah, I'm I'm not expecting that to continue. Took advantage of it though, yeah. Good questions and took advantage. Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard. You are at the top there, but uh, Jenny and Ori very very close behind you. Jenny, surely you got you got a prize in your sights this week. Surely you're going to win one. I would very much like to win one, but um, quizzing is not one of my fortes. I I just. I can't remember names or faces. I know nothing about films, music. I don't recognise anything. Apart from that, apart I've from that, some, uh, brilliant, you're absolutely yeah. great, <laughs> perfect. Ori, shall we all take a look at today's prizes? Yeah, let's have a look. So James won the toolbox yesterday. Oh yes. If you win today, you can have one of these: the hot water bottle, the onesie, the decanter, the playing cards, or the cycle helmet. What are we thinking there? Probably gonna go for the one. If I do get it, the onesie would be the one. Onesie's the one. Yeah. Jenny, what would you go for? I think, Richard, they're all rubbish, basically. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. This is, you've had a whole career of having to be polite to people. You're just thinking, you know what? <laughs> I'm going I'm to enjoy myself now. If pushed, I'll, um, I'll take the playing cards. I like, take I like the playing, the playing cards. cards. Almost all our prizes are rubbish. That decanter isn't rubbish. Oh, well, that's a nice prize. It's a nice decanter. Uh, James? Yeah, you've sold the decanter. I, it, it does look nice. That would look lovely on my... Shelf. <laughs> I was <laughs> going to say drinks trolley, but I don't word? have one of those. Yeah. So uh... <laughs> on my bar. Hold on, yeah. I don't have a bar. I've got a bar. Yeah. Uh, Kadina. Um, do you know what? I, I mean, I feel like my whole team would rip me, but I feel like the helmet. As a cyclist, I feel like I've got to take the helmet. Mm. Do you know what? Of course, and that that would be the finest home one of our cycling helmets has ever gone to. <laughs> OK, I don't think we've ever given one away to a cycling medalist before, so that'd be lovely. Shall we get on and play Tuesday's House of Games? James won on Monday. Who is going to win on Tuesday? Your first round is hidden in plain sight. Ori, we're going to start with you. Your category is... Mammals. What I'm going to do, I'm going to read you out a question. You just have to give me the answer. But the answer is actually also written somewhere in the question. OK. Hidden inside the question, so can you find it? So which mammal is this, please? This marsupial could easily jump over a garden wall, a byproduct of its powerful hind legs. Um, powerful hind legs. This is weird that I don't. That everyone's looking at me like, oh, "Come on, you should know this." But I can buzz in as well. And Kadina thinks. Yeah, she let's knows it. buzz in because I'm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm maybe I'm missing. Goes red. We have ourselves a buzzer race. <laughs> Kadina, as you would hope, <laughs> as an Olympian, wins yes, the buzzer this, race. This might be something I get right. Is it a wallaby? A wallaby, <laughs> and where and where is it? It's oh my wall god! A byproduct. <laughs> 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 I'm taking this one. I see it. <laughs> OK. Should we go Never again? again? Never again. <laughs> Never again. Jenny, uh, a mammal for you is written out somewhere in this question. With its distinctive tusk and a navigation system akin to sonar, whale watchers love to spot this remarkable creature. Um, it's a... Uh... Oh, it's a narwhal. Narwhal, and where is it? Sona whale. Well done, Jenny. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, wow. It's a relief when you see it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. James, a mammal. a mammal. It's written down here somewhere within this question. This large native of the North American scrub is only distantly related to the buffalo, though people often confuse the two. I can't see it at the moment. Um, my mind has gone a blank. Shall we time you out? Yeah, you have to. We'll My mind's went blank. Anyone else mm. fancy it can buzz in? Jenny Bond. Oh, I did get it. Uh, bison. Oh. Bison, Scrub where is it? Scrub is only. Scrub is only yeah. bison. My kids are going to go nuts that I didn't get that. Listen, leave your dad alone. He did OK. He did OK. Kadena, 
a mammal for you, but which mammal and where? If this creature's in your home, I hope you got the memo. Use a humane deterrent, not a spring-loaded trap. A mouse. And where is that? In memo. Memo and use. Mouse. Absolutely is, Davina. Well played. Yay! Um, Ori, we're back to you. We're looking for a painter now. A painter. OK. But which painter is hidden here? If you're learning about Impressionism, one thing you need to remember is that this water lilies painter was a key exponent of it. Um... Jenny, Jenny, oh, look at these two, <laughs> by and by. Oh, they know it. Oh, I'll just read me out and let them know. We'll have read it. you out. Go we'll on. read you out. Red. We've got a race. Ah. Jenny Bond wins the race. <gasps> Monet. And where's Impressionism that? One Impressionism thing. one thing. Impressionism one thing. Monet oh, we wow. were looking for. Well played, Jenny. Very nicely done. And a painter for you. Fans of this artist could claim unchallenged that he is one of Norway's most famous. Oh. Oh, oh, it's um, it's Munch. And it is. Uh, claim unchallenged. Claim unchallenged. Oh. Munch, well done. <sighs> they hide them away cleverly. Yeah, they are question writers. It has to be Very. said. James, I have a painter for you. Lovely. The answer is literally written down in front of you, but what is it? Do you like art that's influenced by the style known as Mexican folk? Ah, lovely. In that case, I'm sure you'll enjoy the work of this painter. I feel like, I don't know the answer, but I feel like, why would they put R in? Mm. Mm. So that's part of his name, obviously, her, their name. So is it Carl, K-A-H-L-O, Carlo? Carlo? Oh, 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 well worked out. That's exactly what it is. Frida well Carlo. Right. Well done. I think, James, it might be the first time anyone's ever done that. Oh, really? <laughs> very, very impressive. Well Frida Kahlo, we were looking for. Now you're proud of him, right? That was impressive. <laughs> yeah, kids. Yeah, you got it back. Kadina, final question in this round. A painter hidden away? This Spanish-born surrealist set the world alight with his dreamscapes and unsettling imagery. Like, I want to, like, go with... <laughs> Sean. <laughs> like, Spawn. Um, because I feel like Spanish, but I'm gonna read you out. Escapes. Yeah, give me gonna have to... James wins the buzzer race this time. Go on, what is it? It's Dali. Ah, Dali, oh, exactly. And where's that? It's between world and a light. World of light, Dali, Salvador Dali, absolutely. <laughs> uh, that's the end of the round. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard of the day, shall we? Ori yet to get off the mark today. Kadina and James, you have two points each. Jenny Bond is our oh, leader Jenny. with four. Oh, well done, yeah. Jenny. So you can spot mammals and painters, that's for sure. <laughs> Should we do a pairs game? Our okay. pairs game today is going to be. Great minds blink alike. Ori gets to choose your partner today. Who would you like to play with? I won't be offended. <laughs> I'm going to I mean, go that, with. I mean, does that mean she will be offended? <laughs> I, I feel up. like it's, it's subliminally. Uh, yeah. Yesterday I worked with Jenny. I'm going to go with James, cos you're right now, you two are in the lead, aren't you, so...? I mean, i got to say, that's the worst way he possibly could have done that, Kadena. <laughs> <laughs> We're saying... You see what I did there? basically, I went, like, picked I'm going, everyone, talked about no, everyone I'm going down the line. <laughs> there we go, see, see? That's all I'm... That's all I'm thinking. I mean, listen, nicely tried. So you're going <sighs> to play with James. So, Ori and Kadena, if you'll swap places, please. Ori and right. James are a team. Kadena and Jenny are a team. Let's do this. All right, what, 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 what. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to do it. <laughs> Team girls. And now in this round, I'm going to show you some names of some films, okay. OK? Each of the films will have a word missing from their title. OK. You need to buzz in if you can tell me what links the missing words, OK? I don't want you to tell me what the missing words are, just what links them. And if you get that right, your partner will have to fill in the missing words. OK. OK. okay. Here's your first one. Cat on a hot blank roof, the man in the blank mask and blank linings playbook. Yes, that's Ori. They're all metals. They are all metals. That's absolutely correct. James, for a point, can you tell me what those three metals are? So, cat on a hot tin roof, the man in the iron mask. Mm -hmm. What is that? Linings play... Oh, man. Oh, you're killing Ori here. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Oh, I should know it. this. Silver? Silver is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Well done. A point to Ori and James. Nicely played. Uh, um, buzz in, please. Tell me what links 
than the missing words from these films. Blank cop, blank of rock, monsters, blank. Yes, that is Ori. They're all um, educational facilities. Yep, educational establishments. Correct, James, for the point. Can you fill in the blanks? So, School of Rock, Monsters, Inc. You're incorrect, I'm afraid. Between you, do you want to fill in those blanks, please, for a point? Monsters, Inc. Is that right? Yes, I suppose that's right. Is it... That is incorrect, I'm afraid. Ink, oh, right. ink was the problem with <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Ori? Monsters University. Monsters University. Ah. School of Rock, Kindergarten Cop. Oh, oh man. Kindergarten Cop. I never have got that Kindergarten Cop. What connects the blanks here, please? Teenage Mutant Ninja blank. Blank on a plane. Lyle, Lyle, blank. <laughs> yes, that's Ori. <laughs> Anim <laughs> Animals. Tiny bit more than animals. They're all reptiles. Reptiles, absolutely. You're good at spotting these links. Yeah, mate. Uh, <laughs> pressure here, mate. James, what are the three blanks here? OK. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Snakes on a Plane, Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Well played. Oh, oh, Point for God. James and Ori. Nicely <laughs> <laughs> done. What connects the blanks here, please? A blank story. Sleepless in blank. Blank vice. Ori. They're all cities in America. American cities is right, James, for a point. Well, I thought I knew the top one, but the date of it's scaring me a little bit. The... All right, I'll, go, I'll start from the bottom. Miami Vice, Sleepless in Seattle. I want to say the Philadelphia story. You want to? Yeah. Yeah, I would if I were you. Oh, That's absolutely well right. Well done. <laughs> Great <laughs> round, yeah, James, so pressure. far. Sorry. Final question. What links these three blanks, please? Born on the 4th of blank, the hunt for red blank, the Ides of blank. Yes, Kadina. I was going to say, like, months. Months is absolutely right. Jenny, for the final point in the round, <laughs> can you fill these in? Um, well, the top one is July, born on the 4th of July. Um, the, uh, what came in my mind first was November. Incorrect, I'm afraid, oh. gentlemen, for the final point of the round. Buzz in and give me the three answers, gents. We can Ori. share between us, or...? Yeah, you share between us. Uh, it's July, for 4th of July, Hunt for Red October. And, and the Ides of March. Right, it was Hunt for Red October was the thing. Hunt for Red October. Well done if you got that at home. It's the end of the round. So, Ori and Kadina, if you will swap back over, please. Okay. And we'll take a little look at our leaderboard, as you do. Come with the fast fingers. We no, try, no. we try. <laughs> Slaughtered us. Slaughtered. <laughs> Ori, well played, mate. Thank you very much. one. You didn't have any points at all before this. Now you've got four. Yeah. Oh. Ori and Jenny with four points each. Kadina with two. James, yesterday's winner, is our leader with six. All right. All right, well done. He had a good partner there, did he not? Big time. <laughs> Round three today is... <laughs> two clues in one. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to show you a category. Your first category is Brad Pitt films. I'm going to show you some clues to Brad Pitt films. This is two clues in one because these clues will also have the same initials as the answer. Okay. Okay. So your first Brad Pitt film is this. Fisticuffs clique. Yes, Ori. Fight Club. Fight Club is absolutely <laughs> right. Fisticuffs clique is a much better name for it. <laughs> you are hot on films. I'm a bit of a movie buff. So oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, next one. Two automobiling ladies. James. Thelma and Louise. Oh, Thelma yes. and Louise is right. Well done. Done. Let's see what's out. The next Brad Pitt film. Anse et Croc. Ori. Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it is. That's French for 11 crooks. <laughs> 11 thieves. Next category. Fairy tales. But which fairy tales? But which aristocrat traps Belle? Ori. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Very good. <laughs> it is. He's good on the buzzer, isn't he? He is, <laughs> is. He is right. <laughs> King of the buzzers. Next fairy tale. <laughs> Juvenile ascends towards Beermoth. <laughs> yes, Ori. Oh. Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's getting annoying. I'm sorry. Let him go, man. He's on fire. <laughs> Next fairy tale. Tot exposes naked chief. 
that's Jenny. Uh, I can't. No, I can't think. Oh, no, I can't you think. got it. Okay, we'll buzz you out. Oh. Ori. The Emperor's New Clothes. Oh, the yeah. The Emperor's New Clothes <laughs> is the answer we were looking for. Hot exposes naked oh. feet. Very good. Uh, next category. EFL teams. What are these teams? Norfolk Canaries. Yes, James. Norwich. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Jenny? Norwich City. Norwich City, oh, we were looking for. Yeah. Well done. Oh, same initials. Say the whole thing. Same initials. Norwich City, well done, Jenny. Next one. Staffordshire, Conobation. Yes, Ori. Nah, I'll pass. No. I was going to say Sheffield, and then it was not seen. Incorrect, I'm afraid. I'm going to read you out. Anyone? Yeah. So, Teddy? Stoke City. Forget the bits of the clues as well. Final question in this round. South Cymru. Oh, um... Yes, Jenny. Swansea City. Swansea well done, City. Well done. Absolutely <laughs> lovely end to the round for Jenny. Take a look at our leaderboard. There are two rounds to go on Tuesday's House of Games. James was our champion yesterday. Our current leader today is Ori Styler. How about that? Thank you. Wow. The traditional stand-ups position of first place. <laughs> Nine points close again, though. Two rounds to go before we give away our next prize. Our next round today is... Question writer's day off. Our question writers work very hard, as we've seen throughout. So every now and again, we give them a day off and their children write the questions. Oh, OK. okay? <laughs> Here are some of the children of the question writers. Everywhere from Reuben, three years old, up to Elizabeth, 11. I've got cards here because they all write questions and they also they tell me why they ask that particular question. OK. okay. I'll read that as well. Ori, we start with you. Whose question would you like? Can I go with Ollie, nine? Of course you can. This is Ollie's question. Oh, it's <laughs> a good question, Ollie. How many engine litres does our Nissan <laughs> X-Trail have? Oh, man, I'm not going to know this. A, really? B, C or oh. D. Wow, Ollie's got you there. Yeah, uh, it's going to have to be a guess, isn't it? Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you know Ollie better than I thought. I, not a clue. Ollie, thank you for the question. Nissan X-Trail. I'm going to go with 1.6, so C, 1.6. You're going to go with 1... Everyone else is on the buzzers as well, oh, just because right, yes. it's... Uh, oh, 1.6, uh, is that the correct answer? He can well, do nothing uh, wrong today, uh, Ori. Okay. He can do Thank nothing you, wrong. <laughs> well done. Nothing but net. Oh. Ollie says, I chose the car engine question because I'm interested in vehicles. Thank you, Ollie. I thought that was going to go all the way down the line, Ollie, but uh, Ori absolutely got it first go. Well done. Thank you. Jenny, whose question would you like? Um, well, I've got a little grandson of, of three and um, I'm going to steer away right from oh, okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to go for Elizabeth, aged 11. You're going to go for Elizabeth, aged 11. What is Elizabeth's question? <laughs> I mean, literally, Elizabeth... Perfect. You've got the name of a former queen, you've got a question about a former queen, and you're asking it to one of Britain's leading royal experts. Oh, oh you're don't. so embarrassing. Uh, Jenny, the second <laughs> the question was asked, I th you, the, the horror on your face. <laughs> How many children did oh. Queen Victoria have? Um, well, she had a lot, um, and I don't know how many. Uh, the, the number 11 came, I'm not giving 11, but that's just because Elizabeth's 11, I think. I don't think she had 11. Um, I don't know, eight. Eight, says Jenny. Elizabeth, is that the correct answer? It is not anybody at Yes, Kadina. I'm going to go with seven. Seven. Is that the correct answer? It is not. Ori, what are you going for? I mean, she said seven, so I'm going to go down again and say six. Is it six? <laughs> it is not. James, do you fancy it? Nine. Is it nine? Good. It oh. is nine. <laughs> well done. Uh, again. Well done. Oh. Oh, Good man. You are working for a lot of people's other other people's work there. Elizabeth says, I thought of this question as we recently visited the Isle of Wight and saw Osborne House and thought this question might be suitable as it is well known. There you go. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay. Thank well you. played, James. And James, you now have to uh, choose a question. How old are your kids? So I've got, yeah, one of each, I think, on there. I've got a nine year old, I've got a seven year old, I've got a four year old, so, and then obviously one on the way. I'm going to go with. Oak Nine, because I love that name. That's a good I don't think name, I've isn't ever it? heard 
of uh, of that name. It's, this, it's gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> and Oak has got an absolutely fantastic question for you. This is Oak's question. How often do sloths come down from the trees to poo? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing to me, Oak? <laughs> I thought you and I had a bond. <laughs> I'm going to say once a week. Once a week, is that the answer? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Oak, oh. how about that, James? That? And Oak. Oak says sloths are the best animals at the zoo. Oh. I agree. Oh, I, you agree I do now, now, don't you? Kadina, whose question would you like? Oh. Do you know what? I'm going with Reuben. You're going with Reuben. <laughs> Reuben's question is this What does incredulous mean? Incredulous. Where did he get that word from? Well, funny, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what Reuben says. Reuben says, this was a word in one of my storybooks which I didn't understand. Um, I'm going to go, like, that's unbelievable. Yeah, I'll give you that. I don't believe it. I don't believe it, incredulous. Hey. Well done, you get yourself a point. Thank you so much, Reuben. And now you know uh, the word now everyone else does as well. Ori, we are back to you. OK. Whose question would you like? Raphael. Uh, and his questions are usually a nightmare, but we're going with you, oh, Rafa. God, Let's no, see what no, you got. No, OK. So, Raf asks, can you name a country that has never won the Men's Football World Cup but has come second? Oh, man. That's a tricky one. Spain. You're going to go for Spain? It's incorrect. They have won one. James. Well, I don't know. It's just a guess. Croatia. Croatia, you're saying? Is that right? Well done. It is right. Well, well done. done. You could have Netherlands, Czechoslovakia, like Hungary, Sweden or Croatia. Not only is it a great question from Raphael, his note is this. I think Croatia is the one that you are most likely to think of. Uh, How about that? Raphael? Well done. How He's going to be that, hosting Raphael? the show in a few years. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Jenny, Jenny, right. whose question would you like? Um, I think I'll go for Izzy. Izzy has this question for you. In Brambley Hedge, who is Catkin, Clover and Teasel's brother? Mm, Peter Rabbit. <laughs> is it Peter Rabbit? It is not anybody. So, Teddy? Yeah. Wilfred. Uh, Wilfred <laughs> is the answer oh, we were looking for. Well done, Izzy. And, yeah, Izzy says, when I found out my new baby cousin's name, I was excited because I knew someone with that name in Brambley Hedge. Aww. There you go. I'll... James, a question for you. Yeah. Whose would you like? Uh, I will go with Nola. Nola, seven. Nola, the true star of this round for so many years. She was three when she started, she's seven now, and she asks you this. <laughs> that's a good question, Nola. Oh, that's a very Which good question. Which of these films gave me nightmares? Coraline, Hocus Pocus, or Coco? I'm going to say Coraline. Uh, say Coraline. Is that the answer? It is the oh, answer. Wow. Well okay. done. I, don't know what I haven't even is. seen it, but I don't think the other two are particularly you scary. You are so in tune to uh, with this. Nola. Um, Nola says there is other mother and father in a parallel bad world. They look like her parents, but they have buttons for eyes. It's scary. And they want to sew buttons into her eyes. Mm. Nola says, I still think about this a lot. It's a scary yeah. film. Oh, no, it's not right. real, Nola, don't worry. It's not real, Forget so you mustn't it. be scared. They try to be exciting in those films, don't they? Yeah. They try and do things that uh, make your imagination run right. Kadina, we have, you have the last question in this round. I've had the babies, haven't I? Yeah. Martha, just... it is. Martha asks, what are the names of the chipmunks? Alvin. Alvin. Theodore. Oh, George. Oh, <laughs> Look at Ori here. Yeah. I know. I know. I wish my brain's gone blank. I ain't got this one. Okay, let's time Kadina out. We've got a buzzer race on our hands. James wins the buzzer race. Sorry, mate. Uh, it's Alvin, Simon, ah. Theodore. Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. <laughs> Absolutely right. Martha says Simon is my favourite because he is the smartest. Oh. He's not. He's not Kadina's favourite. I'll Martha, tell you that. Martha, Martha. That is the end of the round. A round of applause to all the kids for writing the question. Yeah, yeah very good. Great, great question. One more round to go. One more round before we give away our second oh. prize of the week and let's take a look at the leaderboard. Kadina, you have ah, three. Yeah. Jenny with six. Ori with ten. James, you won yesterday and he's got a two-point lead today. Well, okay. Well, that. It I'm not sure. It all comes down to a final round of. Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. 
point for a correct answer, point off, don't forget, for an incorrect answer. James, you're in pole position. Can you hold on? Your first category is... People born in the 1950s. Those will be the pictures. The books Becoming and The Light We Carry were both written by which former US First Lady? Yes, that is James. Michelle Obama Donna. Is correct. Well done, Michelle Obama and Madonna. Michelle Obama and Madonna. That's the hardest pit putting them together. Yeah, putting Obama yeah. Donna, yeah. Next question, next picture. Which film starring Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise as brothers won the Oscar for Best Picture in 1989? That is Ori. I'm going to read you out. Yeah, go. Please Sorry. Point. Anybody? Let's take a look. We were looking for Rain Mangela oh, Bassett. Angela Bassett, I didn't recognize Rain, Rain Man. Man. Angela Bassett, Rain Mangela Bassett. Next category is pets. There will be the pictures. What unusual food dish forms the title of a 1960 Dr. Seuss book that contains just 50 different words? Yes, Ori. Green eggs and hamster. Green eggs and hamster? Oh, wow. It <laughs> is green eggs and hamster. Green eggs and ham and hamster. Next question, next picture. What was the first name of Beethoven, the composer of the piano piece known as the Moonlight Sonata? Oh, Beethoven. Oh. Nobody. Fancy it. Looking for Ludwigwana. Iguana. Ludwig and Iguana. Yeah, Ludwigwana. Ludwig That's hard to say. It's the Iguana bit I got. <laughs> I'm scared of losing a point. The yeah, fear exactly. has exactly. taken over oh. now. Exactly. Next clue, next pet. The Eva Cassidy album Songbird includes a cover of which song that was a UK top 20 hit for Sting in 1993? <laughs> That's Jenny. Fields of Goldfish? Well, <laughs> Is it Fields of Goldfish? <laughs> It is. Fields of goldfish. Well fields of gold, goldfish. Fields of goldfish. Any more? <laughs> We're done for Tuesday. Uh, James was our champion on Monday. I think he's done it again, hasn't he? he? Has. Let's he take has. a look at our leaderboards. Our winner on Tuesday. James by oh, two uh, out of two. Two out of two. You both give me those dice. Two <laughs> prizes yeah. out of two as well. James, what would you like from this selection? I think I've got to go with uh, my first... Well, I, don't, I don't know, I do like the onesie, but I'm going to go with the decanter. Yeah, uh, James Bay wins the House of Games decanter. Very nicely done. Our weekly leaderboard looks like this. Makes good reading for James. Eight, six, five, two, James up the top there. Three days to go, though. We've got double points Friday coming as well. So we come back tomorrow, see if James can make it three in a row, see if uh, someone can nick it off him. OK. <laughs> Look forward to it ever so much. Look forward to seeing you here as well on the House of Games. I think it's, you know, I'm going to put this pride of place on my, uh, on my mantelpiece for sure. Mantelpiece. Mantelpiece. I don't even think I've got a mantelpiece. <laughs> <laughs>